you are a master Protoss. This is a few Marauders and a Siege Tank going off against a Protoss base. I expect the few Marauders and the Siege Tank to work, because that's the way this game is. Oh man, that was some good use of Protoss high tech. Now this is what's so dangerous about Protoss, is they have the best units in the game. In the carriers and the Zealots with charge and the... Oh, does this carrier survive? No, it doesn't. The carriers and the Zealots with charge and the Colossi, as well as the High Templar and the Archons. And now we are going to actually see Archons, carriers, High Templar and Colossi, as well as Dark Templar, odd out on the map at once. I am continuing to wonder why I am MVP is still in this game because he's never had more than three bases and he's never really produced that much but it looks like he still is because he's an awesome player so yes we are now going to see colossi dark templars high templars archons and carriers this is uh this is your bronze league classic right here every every tier three unit now if i'm mvp continues to army trade with huck and continues to how many barracks does he have? He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight barracks there. So he's just he just has eight racks. Meanwhile, Huck has four eight. He has eight gateways. So that is actually this is an even production capacity. If he continues to army trade with Huck, then soon Huck's gonna start running out of resources while MVP still has a bunch of money left. And now we, we see one Dark Templar just sort of sitting here biding his time. Yeah, can't land on me. Even though you're a building and could easily crush me. A Marauder versus a DT uh, with... Oh wow, this is, this is really funny micro just to prevent the DT from getting any kills. If we look at the supply, Huck has a considerable lead. If we look at the workers, <laughs> MVP still has 36. That is really, really funny. Huck has just been outplaying him this game, but Huck's been getting things like carriers and archons and not really having a good army. <laughs> That's really good. So Huck is maxed. MVP is less than maxed, but MVP does have better upgrades. He has 3-2 on the ground, while Huck only has 2-1 on the ground, but he does have 3 shield. Plus Huck's 3 damage in the air is allowing his interceptors to do 60, or, uh, 32 DPS, which is really high per carrier, so that's, uh, that is, wow, that's uh, 160 DPS just from the carry, for just from the carriers alone. For reference, that is more than a Marauder lost per second. That is a Ghost plus, you know what, that's a, that's a Viking plus a Marine lost per second just with the carriers alone, not even counting the Colossi who do massive DPS and the Archons who do awesome DPS, plus the High Templars who do a ton of DPS. So what you're seeing here is the most supply efficient per damage, at least, armies or units in the Protoss army. Uh, by supply efficient, efficient, I mean the late, gate con the late game concept of you don't want cost efficiency, you want stuff that is worth a lot of supply and worth a lot of money so essentially you want things that are really expensive and don't actually like aren't all that effective for their costs things like archons and carriers and we are seeing now the last gasp of mvp he just has his 14 probes remaining and there we go there we see the gg a pretty kick-ass game from huck because it was with a bunch of carriers uh, this was just a ladder game. This is just to get back into the swing of things. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Admiral Luker. Don't forget to subscribe. And I have some fun 2v2s, 3v3s, and 4v4s to show you guys uh, in a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe.